What's going on my dudes? One Step here with another Mortal Kombat 1 video. I completed all of Noob Cybot's combo challenges and I'm here today to help you understand how I did it and giving you some tips so that way you can do it. There are a couple of tricky ones here and some that have some really weird timing. So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's jump into these combo challenges. The first one is kind of self-explanatory. You just press 4-4 four, four, and then down up for teleport. 4-4 four, four, down up and that's the combo. Not much explaining needed there. Hopefully you can at least do that. Next one. Okay, this one we have string special strength. It's because the back 4-3 special uses the side bot to bring the opponent towards you and before they land you can do the string hitting them out of that grab essentially with 1-2-3. So let's break these combos up into pieces and then place them all together. We got 4-1-2. to Okay we can do that. 4-1-2 back 4-3. Okay, now all we gotta do is finish off with the 1, 2, 3 combo. 4 to 1, 2, back 4, 3 before they land. 1, 2, 3. The only thing on this one where the timing is tight is when the clone carries them back towards you. It's tight on that timing, yes, when the clone brings you back, you have to press 1, 2, 3. You have to wait till they're at the peak of the grab, you're able to press 1, 2, 3. That's the only thing you're gonna have to really get down for that combo. It's just a timing thing after that grab slash throw. Noob standing 3 is a great anti-air. So good you can aerial combo afterwards. You just hit your opponent out of the air with 3. Jump, 1, 2, 4, 4. And then while you're in the air, finish that off with a down back four. Easy anti-air jump, one, two, four, four, down back four. This combo trial alone opened my eyes to how amazing his anti-air, his standing three is. Holy cow, that's so good. Combo number four is the first combo you're gonna use the enhanced teleport. And you're gonna press block or R1 at the same time you press up. You get the enhanced version of it. Immediately hold up diagonally to jump and do an aerial combo, the two, three, four you see there. And then in the air, do the teleport again with down up. So again, let's break this into pieces and put it all together. Let's do the first half first. Two, one, two, down, up, and hand. Okay. Now the only thing with that is if you press down, up too early, you interrupt your string and only do the two, one part. This. Technically that works, yes, but that's not what the combo is wanting you to do. Wait just a second before you input the enhanced teleport. Make sure you finish the two, one, two. And then jump and hit two, three, four. Let's get that far. Okay, we were able to immediately jump, hit 2-3-4 in the air, they bounced up. And while we're still in the air, immediately after we finish the aerial 2-3-4, we can press down up and do a teleport, and that'll end the combo. So let's do the whole thing now. See how we just went right from that string combo in the air and went right into the teleport? Yes, yeah, because you input as jump 2-3-4, you don't waste any time. You go 2-3-4 down up. Again, the hardest timing part on this, in my opinion, is 2-1-2, wait just a second, and then enhance teleport. Don't do the teleport too fast. Combo number five wants you to jump in with an enhanced aerial down back four. So first of all, just do that. So that'll kick the opponent towards you, allowing you to land and hit four to one three into your sub-zero cameo move. So let's just get that far. Jump in, enhance down back four, land four to one three. But see right there, if we're too late by landing, it's not gonna actually connect the four to one three. So my tip here is do that down back four enhanced in the air as late as you possibly can while jumping forward. You see, we're able to actually land while they're still spinning, allowing us to then connect 4 to 1, 3. So jump towards them, wait, then do it, 4 to 1, 3. Make sure that connects. Make sure you have that timing down, and then add the cameo move. Away, okay. Uh, 4 to 1, 3, 4 to cameo. Okay, we got this far. So what does this part want you to do right here? It wants you to jump, hit him with a 2, and then rather than 4 to 1, 3, you're doing 4 to 1, 2. After that four to one, two, down back three, that'll end the combo. You're done there. As you see right here, the combo is wanting you to end with a setup down back two, giving you that pressure on wake up. Game is teaching you how to set yourself up for success after landing a great combo like this. So let's just get the cameo move, jump in with the two, and then hit that forward one, two. See how that feels. Jump in, there we go. Jump in. Okay, so we got that far. We made sure everything connected, our jump in two, landing, four to one, two. Now all I do is end it with down back three. And as soon as that is done, let's just do down back two for the setup and we'll be set for success. Again, the biggest tip here is just waiting to do that down back four in the air, late as possible. You don't want to do it right here. So let's do it. Set it up, there we go. So yeah, they might wake up and block that teleport move, but that's okay, that's the point. We're trying to apply that pressure as they wake up from a distance, and down back two allows us to do that. Not a guaranteed hit, but it's a great setup. This one is a very fun combo, great damage on it. Besides the starting two, one, four, to bounce your opponent up, you're doing four, down back three, four, down back three, four, down back three, enhanced. So basically all you're gonna do is uh, two, one, four, four, down back three, 
Once you hit that, you basically got most of the combo down. You can do that two more times after that, which is enhance the last down back three. Jump up in the air, hit three in the air, then just down, down four. So let's just do the first part again, shall we? Four down back three. Okay, we just gotta wait for them to fall a little bit. Hit that four down back three again. Wait for them to fall a second. Four down back three enhanced. Jump three, down, down four. If you wanna make sure you can do that last part, just do an enhanced down back three by itself jump hit the three make sure you can hit that and then add down down four so that you know you can do the last end of the combo so let's just do the last part of it all just like that so now we gotta put those two halves together and we'll have ourselves a full combo after your two one four my biggest tip is dashing forward to hit your next four two one four dash forward then hit it that way you're really close in the corner you're gonna hit it a lot more often i guarantee it two one four dash forward four down back three four down back three four down back three jump down down four it gets a little fast on the timing at the very end there but that third down back three that you enhance allows you to recover faster jump hit the three down down four in the air it takes a second but man this is a fun combo now this combo is wanting you to use the enhanced ghost ball and sub-zero cameo allows you to do it a lot easier because enhanced ghost ball puts cybot out holding the ball for you when he throws it out your opponent's covered in this you do down four to one again they'll explode pop up and as you see at the end there we do that back four three enhance as they fall down and then uppercut so you're starting off with a nice back three three forward cameo freeze them this is where the timing gets a bit uh, a bit tight because you immediately have to do down forward one enhance and then from there recover do down back two and hold towards yourself so that way you do the close teleport move enough of that way you can jump hit him in the air with two land four down forward one explode him this took me a while to get the down back two you got to do the down forward one enhance to immediately do down back two so let's break it up into pieces shall we back through three forward cameo enhance down forward one get this far because from there you gotta immediately press down back two and see if that lands and connects let's get that far back three three four to cameo down four to one down back two close okay that does connect we have the timing there do that sequence till you see that that move the down back two close to you actually connects then all you gotta do is jump hit him in the air with two land four get that far back three three four to cameo down four to one hands down back two hold it jump two four from there, we're gonna do down four to one, they'll explode. Let's get that far now. Okay, back three, three, four to cameo, enhance it. Oh, down back two back. Ah, too slow. Four to cameo, enhance it. Immediately down back two hold, jump. There we go, see how they exploded? Now we'll just add an enhance back four, three, and uppercut, and we'll have the combo. As you start there, we gotta wait for the opponent to cross over us before we actually hit the uppercut. If we uppercut too early, it's not gonna connect. So a lot of the parts of this combo require tight timing, even at the end there. But we landed that back four, three in hand, so let's just make sure we hit the uppercut and we'll be good. That's it, down back to hold it. Guys, I'm gonna be with you. The timing on that one is rough, especially in the beginning. While they're frozen, you have to immediately do down forward one enhanced. And again, while they're still frozen, you down back two and hold it. So you're doing two specials while they're frozen. You have no time for error and no time to delay. You have to do it right after the other as soon as possible. Uppercut at their apex of their arc. Those two specials in a row while they're frozen just take some time, but you got this. This is the one and only combo that Noob has where he uses Embrace Chaos. All of our specials, you see we got a lot of specials there, allow for pop up. We're basically just teleport the opponent to us in the air so we're doing special 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 jump up string land special special because all these specials are basically popping up our opponent allowing us to do just one after the other now the timing in between these is tight and precise so do four down back one or embrace chaos you see how we're going here in this state all of our specials will then pop up our opponent essentially and not only that the four to one three combo is only available while you have embrace chaos and then you end it with a fatal blow so let's just get embrace chaos do the string and then down back three see how that feels embrace chaos four one three two down back three okay we can do that we can do that and then while they're coming down we'll do uh back forward two when they fall down again back forward four and then uh I'll teleport them again we jump up two three four okay let's try to do those uh next two specials okay let's see if we can do all of that four to one three two down back three back four two back four four Oh, so we're too quick on the back forward four. We gotta wait a second. Uh, okay, so we the, we can do the down back three and the back forward two basically right after one another. But you gotta wait a second before you can do the back forward four for it to actually hit. Embrace chaos. Four to one, three, two, down back three. Down back forward two. Wait. There's this, and that actually hits. So you do gotta wait just a second between your back forward two and your back forward four. These two you can do right after one another. You gotta wait to do the back forward four. Let's wait, let's make sure we hit it. Jump up two, three, four, go to there. Down back three, back forward two, wait. 
three, three, four. Okay, so we landed in, we landed before they could, they bounce up. From there, we do down back four. That's a special that'll pop them up. Their teleport, we do back four, three before they can land. They'll teleport again, and we fatal blow. All right, let's see if we can do all of that. Down back three, back four, two. Wait, back four to four, jump. Three, four, down back four. Back four, three. Oh! Two, wait, back four, four. Two, three, four, back. Please hit. Oh my god. You gotta not only time the specials pretty much perfectly, but then had that fatal blow. Not too early, not too late. Oh my god. Probably right as we're going through the portal, right? Okay, surely we can do all of it. Right when they go through the portal? Okay, that works. Okay. So you want to hit Fatal Blow right as Cybot is throwing them through the portal. So that way the animation's lined up well enough. So the Fatal Blow portal's on the floor as Cybot's bringing them back down from the back forward three. That one is probably the hardest on timing because you're doing special, 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 string, special, special. And it's just a matter of finding that right timing after each single special. All right, still with me? Last one. So this one starts off with a 2 1 4. And as you see there, it bounces our opponent quite high. Gives us enough time to do the enhanced teleport. Other falling down from that hit three. Keep them in the air. Down back two for Sajinko. Hold up. Four down back four. So it's not a ton of stuff going on. It's just a matter of timing and your input. So again, let's take it one step at a time. Do just the first two things. The string enhanced teleport will go from there. Now, before we start, this string is not cancelable into the teleport. You're finishing the string and the teleport is just fast enough that you'll catch them before they land. You actually have to wait to do the teleport input till the string is done. Do one for wait. Enhanced teleport. Three. Okay. Let's add Chijinko, which is down back cameo. Hold up. Before they land, hit four. Down back four. Let's go to Shijinko at least. Wait. Whoa, okay, so this one is weird because you're doing down back cameo hold up, but new Cybot's down up is a teleport. The game's reading you doing down up, not down back cameo up. That one's a bit weird. Okay, let's try it again. Two, one, four. Wait. See, we're doing teleport again. That's so weird. We got to really slow it down. Do three down back cameo up. Okay, we can do it. I think I'm just inputting it too fast. Okay, so the big tip I have for that right there is just do down back cameo and wait a quick second before then holding up. So that way Shijinko's already out. You can't teleport while he's out like that. And after down back two and waiting for that one quick second, then hold up, we'll do the up version, allowing you to end it with uh, four down back four. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do the whole thing now. Three days later. Okay, so that is a big tip right there at the end. It's way easier and way better to dash forward to hit the three down back cameo. Wait that split second for Chijiko to actually come out. Hold up so he does the up version so all the missiles actually hit. They have to hit. That way it gives you enough time to recover. Hit that four down back four. The two things that are the tightest timing on that combo is enhanced teleport after the two one four combo. Enhancing it can be kind of rough. It's just hitting the R1 right when you hit the up. That timing is really hard to figure out. Once you enhance a teleport, you have enough time to dash. Hit the three down back cameo. Once you see Shijinko, hold up. He'll do the missiles. Make sure they all hit. You have enough time to hit the four down back four that combo can be a headache and very rough for some people with all that being said my dudes let me know your thoughts on noob cybot down below do you like him do you hate him if you found this video entertaining and or informative make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe here for more mortal kombat content turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more